Alrighty, three city challenge the cash stealth, bloodlust reinforced doors, and 15 minutes. Alright, so essentially, there are no kills here, and we have a slight time limit on cash, which is literally just deposit, but slightly more stressful and slightly more terrifying. Actually, far more stressful and far more terrifying, but it's still cash, and it really shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. Finally, we've got reinforced doors, which really isn't a problem. So what I'm trying to say is, this challenge is practically irrelevant. There are literally no changes in this. But what we got to do is open up this door and then afterwards access that panel. So we could wait for a good moment and to think about it first, or we could just immediately walk in and disable the keypad, or at least the alarms using the keypad. And because it's not hidden detection bars or hidden UI, we can ex see exactly where we're getting detected from, which means that we're not... We haven't been caught, so that's actually a good thing. Anyways, let's reach through this door, just because we can, really. The one thing I really do want to see is actually where the server room is. And the server room is downstairs, which means the power box is upstairs, which means that Taking out upstairs guards, in my view, will likely be more helpful. So, in that case, what we're going to do is we're just going to lure a guard upstairs. And have you come out here. Now, here's the fun part. If you leave that door open. Now, this guard should not be able to go anywhere. Because the door below is open, but they should not have a key card. Or, if they do have a key card, we've been very, very lucky. Anyways, hi there. Thanks for the disguise. I assume Cyber's gonna bag it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take care of the mission now. Maybe going through this spot isn't the best idea, but it is an idea, so... Sure. Anyways, we're gonna walk past that, activate this objective, completely ignore that guard, and actually see what's over here first. Obviously there's a guard here, why am I surprised? But then afterwards, we need to go find ourselves a screwdriver, so... Real quick... Where is a screwdriver? I mean, one possibility is that it's in one of the rooms up here. So what I'm trying to say is either the camera room or the manager's office. One is a simple scrambler, and the answer is that it's not here. But I will lockpick through this and let's see what's in here without getting caught by a guard. And of course, we find the screwdriver. Anyways, let's get back out over here. And I don't actually think I have a lot of use for the scrambler, but... Hi there, God. What I do need to do is leave a scrambler over here. Move that screwdriver over there. Actually, hold on. We need to unlock the door first. Otherwise, I'm going to be taking a long, long route through the outside. Drop the scrambler now. Go in here. Use the screwdriver on that... Hi there, Cyber. Use the screwdriver on the panel over here. Cyber, do you really have to- You know what? Never mind. I'm gonna open up the panel. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna cut the wire. The security team is gonna show up. And Cyber's gonna hopefully help clear the security team. Anyways, let's go back up. Not get caught by the guards because... Did you seriously walk out? You're supposed to stand- Alright, the guard has walked out, which means we have to actually wait a bit first. And we're gonna start by lockpicking this door because we will eventually need it. And I'm gonna walk up to this, cut the wire. And because I'm actually curious, let's see if we can actually tear down the painting right now. We cannot. So maybe let's focus on not getting caught while we wait for the security team to show up. And since the keypad is over here, that means the guards shouldn't be giving us a horrible time by immediately going to the basement and causing problems. But the gods might loiter around upstairs for quite a bit of time. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to open up that door. Just so that it's much more accessible. For cyber at least. And maybe that door, but I don't really see a point for that. I believe that's one of the security team gods, so... There's no point in following any of them around right now. I could open that, but I don't really have a... Let's just run around everyone. Just because we can. So there's one guard over there, which maybe cyber will take care of. But what I actually want to do 
is to take care of this guard and answer the radio. And hopefully that guard actually walks out and gets taken care of by Cyber. There we go, and that's basically the guards cleared. In a surprisingly short amount of time too, but that's besides the point. Cyber is a scrambler, so we won't be grabbing him a scrambler. We're just gonna go up here, out through here, and grab ourselves a key card. Mainly because Cyber is still outside. I think Cyber's gonna get himself a disguise now, which means they can definitely come in here and help out by perhaps getting the USB, but it's fine. What we need to do, however, is to immediately access the servers, not get caught, set up the connection, and then grab the USB. And because there's not no safe cracking, we can just crack the safe. We don't have to run around, grab a drill, and then start drilling the safe, which takes an incredibly long amount of time. It's not exactly horrible or unbearable, but it's not exactly speedy either, but we'll go up. We will completely ignore that guard. We will enter Maddox Gray's office. Cyber's gonna presumably rip down that photograph. I'm gonna start cracking the safe. There are now two people stuck inside an office trying not to get caught and it's working out so far, surprisingly. We're gonna open it, it's not gonna have a raven inside, and then after that we're gonna grab ourselves a USB. And yes, it doesn't actually have a raven inside. It's not a CRS. Anyways, let's head downstairs. Use that USB after using this keycard instead of the scrambler. Run past this card because really it doesn't matter at this point anymore. Authenticate this connection and then run out of there while simultaneously still ignoring that god. And maybe that door too, we don't actually have to close it. There's literally nothing threatening behind. So now all we gotta do is run out of there and that's basically a daily challenge complete. Hi there Cyber. And that's the daily challenge done in just under 7 minutes. It's just normal cash. It's not a threatening. And cheers everyone. Have a great time. <laughs>